Hi, it's Malcolm from Aquaspray. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your water seal kit. Replacing the water seal kit, if it's leaking water or you're getting water into the oil, you need to replace the seal kit. I'll show you how to do it. Stay tuned. Electricity can kill. Always completely isolate your machine from the main supply before starting any maintenance. Work dead and stay alive. All repairs and maintenance should only be carried out by trained Kranzel service agents. If you do attempt maintenance on your machine, please remember that you are responsible for your own safety and the safety of the people operating it in the event something was to go wrong. You must also assume responsibility for any damage that may be caused when using our videos as reference. So let's get to it. You don't need a lot of tools for changing the seals. You need a 6mm Allen key. It's good to have a flathead screwdriver and some pump pliers uh, and always keep a pin to hand this is one of the most useful tools for any pressure washer kit so the allen key bolts there's two at the top and two short ones at the bottom uh, sometimes this is quite a new machine but sometimes it can be uh, if it's not been changed for a long time they can be really really tight and if they are you can use a little bit of leverage to loosen them off. So get the allen key bolts out. Remember this. There's two long ones at the top and then these short ones. See this one's tight down here. And the short ones at the bottom. Once you've got all four Allen keys out, the only thing that will be holding this on is the micro switch box. If yours is a standard machine, this won't be in its way and you'll be able to take the pump completely off. But with this, if you just rock it side to side and up and down, really slowly and gently until you draw it off. And then you'll see the pump like that. So normally when you do this, you'll see that the seals are caught actually on the piston when they should be in this housing. So if you gently remove them, I'm going to replace. I'm going to be replacing these ones because uh, it's a brand new machine. Uh, if you're replacing the complete seal kit and you've got a new seal kit, you don't have to be as gentle. But I'll get I'll get everything out. And show you exactly where they go what you need to do is if you're using a screwdriver be really really gentle and conscious that if you scratch this piston or you scratch the housing it's gonna leak so you have to be really really gentle this is where your pump pliers come in and again if you crush these you will need to replace them the idea is to rock them backwards and forwards and up and down until they just pop out they are just on this o-ring so it shouldn't be tight but i know over the years it can get tight so when you've got all three of them out just rock them and pull them rock and pull them and you have some seals in here it really really gentle take all the washers out I will lay up everything so you can see it in a bit the seals in here again I'm going to be replacing these so I'm going to be really really gentle with it to try and get it out just by easing them backwards and forwards if you mark this seal it will never go back in correctly and it will leak there is a tool that you can get oh pops out nice <laughs> being quiet because i don't want to damage anything
just work with a slightly bigger screwdriver. So this is all just grease. Um, when you replace everything, you can re-grease later on. But you've got to make sure that everything is spotless in here, as clean as you can possibly get it. Uh, if you have any grit in there, it will damage the pump or block a valve or something like that. So just take your time and make sure that you clean it all. I mean, this is just just grease because it's a brand new pump. But yours might have debris in there, parts of seals, anything like that. So let me clean it and then I'll show you what that look, looks like. So when it's clean, it needs to be as spotless as you can get it. Uh, it's not too bad if you've got water in there, but you need to get any little bits of debris that could get caught in the valves out. Once you've done that, you need to just set up for your seal kit. So these brass rings, um, if you're changing the water seal kit, you shouldn't really need to take them out. Uh, they are just slid over the pistons, but you can't get them out sometimes until you take the, the housing off the, for the oil seals. And they're just a spacer between the brass collar and the oil seal itself. Right, so the next thing is the brass collar. This is a brass collar, it has a water seal in as well and there's an o-ring. You can take the o-ring off by just pinching it so it just goes over the top of that lip and then just push it off with your thumb. All three of them. Rather than using a screwdriver and risk of damaging or scoring this brass, if you damage or score the brass, you need to really replace it. Again, with these, you need to be cleaning and getting them as spotless as you possibly can before you refit any seals in there. So this is what it looks like with all the seals out. Uh, everything bar the brass collars will come in a water seal kit and it will come with a, a little diagram of saying which part goes where. But I'll show you that in a second. What you need to do is with your trusty pin is these little holes, you need to make sure that there is nothing in them. This is little bits of grease and muck in there, but you can clean them out, make sure they're spotless, all of them. Like that, a little bit of, I think it's just grease that to be fair, as it's a brand new one. But always check these and make sure that they are spotless before you start reassembling. So reassemble the brass collars first, just grab the o-ring, just go over, make sure you don't stretch the o-ring too much, else it'll never seal. Perfect. You will get the backup ring or the actual seal support, the little castle nut side of things. It is supposed to be split by the way, uh, but if you have it the cone shape up, Focus, focusing failed. Hopefully you can see that. But with the cone shape up, just place it in there. Place the seal in and just push it round nice and gently. Don't overdo it until it just slots in, making sure that you've not trapped anything not trapped any of the uh, the backup ring and backup rings fully supporting the seal and then you have the disc on top so once again you can clean that one too well once again we got uh, the backup ring just pop that in over the top the water seal just push it around nice and gently so it puts in place, making sure that you've not damaged or trapped anything. And the washer over the top. And third time lucky. Back up ring. Seal. And make sure the seal, the words Kranzel, is facing this back end of the seal. Back end of the brass collar even. 
so it looks like that that's how you want it perfectly when you're putting these back on the pistons it's always good to put a little bit of grease maybe on the piston just a little bit of grease there's still some grease on there from it being new and a little bit of grease on this o-ring do not overpack it with grease if you overpack it with grease that'll cause more issues the two holes um, they say it doesn't really matter which way it goes I have always put them 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock on every pump that I've done the reason for that is if if it's like that and it's filling up with water it's filling up with water until it's halfway before it gets to the other side if it's filling up with water it's filling up both sides evenly that's the way I do it that's the way I've always done it that's the way I would advise everybody to do it so 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock with the holes making sure they're all clear and that's the brass collars fitted now for the hard one the seals I'll have to realign the pump because it's going to be hard around the camera so I hope you can see it fitting the hard seals into the pump is the hardest bit of this job um, there is a special tool that fits them in uh, but it's very expensive and I, I don't expect anybody to have one uh, we've got one but if I show you how to do it with that I'll be cheating what you need to do is you need to hopefully you can see that just get the lip in slightly and then the flat end of the screwdriver making sure the screwdriver is clean is to just nudge it round without scoring anything if you score the housing it's bad and then it'll just pop in in winter when these are really really hard uh, and it's really cold outside you can put them in some warm water not hot but just warm water for a couple of minutes before you do this just to soften them up a little bit uh, but you just really really gently all the way around keep going all the way around until it just slots in and the last one just get it started and then just all the way around it's going to be the hardest one because it's lowest on the camera just keep going all the way around and then it will just push in with your fingers once they're there it's only the washers from there and reassembly some people put these plastic washers on first uh, which is fine but you can't see whether it's going to get trapped in the actual pump head I've always put them into the seals first so that they are flush making sure that they fit perfectly in there and then once they once they are perfectly in there they shouldn't fall out <laughs> he says but if they do fall out you can put a little smidgen of grease just to uh, to hold them in in place and then when you're putting the pump on it needs to be as even as possible you got to just even and then slowly rock it backwards and forwards until if you can see it's over the pistons and the brass collars evenly and only then is what you can start to put the screws back in so when you're doing the screws two big ones at the top two small ones at the bottom and just make sure you start them up until there's a little bit of resistance and then go corner to corner to corner to corner and then you can start tightening them up a little bit so a quarter of a turn on each corner until you get it all the way and it starts to get tight you must do it nice and evenly on each corner and draw the pump on so it's nice and square 
That'll avoid any trapping of O-rings or moving the seals, putting too much pressure on one side of the seal or not. Once you've got it, once you've got them all tight with a little end, you can put them on and give them an extra tweak. Again, somebody will have some sort of torque setting for these. I don't have it, I don't know it. But if it's too tight, you're going to strip threads. If it's not tight enough, the pump will be loose and start wobbling. And that would be bad. So once it's all on and sorted, you are ready to uh, go. I hope you found the video useful and you learned something. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank <laughs> you.